What's going on everyone? Welcome back to The Sweet Studio. Joshua Grove here with another trick for you to learn. Today, we're gonna to be learning a trick called the spike balance, where we pop the Ken up and we balance the spike on our palm just like so. It's a super fun one to add into your tricks and your sequences of freestyle. So let's break it down so that you can learn this trick right now. First steps first is just practicing the act of balancing something on your hand. There's actually a technique that'll help you balance almost anything on your hand. And what that is, is just focusing on the top of whatever the object is. So my eyes are just glued to the top of this, not taking my eyes off of it. And whichever way it goes, I'm gonna follow it with my hand to counterbalance that so I can straighten it back out. You wanna keep your knees nice and relaxed and you can actually keep your core engaged so that you can move and feel grounded while you're while you're balancing the stick in your hand. So once you've practiced balancing something in your hand for a little bit and you've gotten the idea of putting your focus on the top of the object, you can explore doing that same thing with uh, the spike on your on your palm, putting the tama in the bottom cup, and you can just explore what that feels like as well. Starting in Sara Grip bottom cup, first practice just the act of going down with your knees, coming straight up, and we're gonna release the Ken and then have the Tama, the goal is to have the Tama stay connected to the bottom cup and then catch the Ken once again. So practice that a couple times, main focus, keeping the Tama connected to the Ken. What we wanna focus on now is just going for the spike bounce. So you're gonna to toss the Ken up and you're gonna extend your palm open. Make sure the palm is totally flat. Your fingers are extended and facing towards the sky, just like so. And what we're aiming for is the spike to land right in the middle of our palm so that the spike lands there, and the Thomas stays connected, and then you can use your knees and adjust as needed. Something that's gonna make this step a little easier is focusing on catching the spike balance right at the apex of the can going up into the air. So right as it almost freezes for that split second before it begins to fall back down, try to get your hand right underneath that spike in that moment so that it has the least amount of impacts coming into your hand. Make sure you keep in mind that when you are balancing, just to keep your eyes locked on the top of the Tama so that you can adjust whenever is needed and you can keep that spike balance nice and controlled. Now, just as there's many ways of getting into this trick, there's many ways that you can get out of this trick. I'm gonna show you one of the most simple versions and that's just popping it straight back up and going into Sara Grip. Now that is difficult because if you don't pop the Ken straight up in the air, the Tama will come off of the Ken and you won't be able to catch it in a clean Sara Grip. Biggest focus, is just using your knees, staying engaged with your whole body, coming straight up and straight back down. So you can also go into some trade spike variations. You can go into a swap Ken grip trade spike. Uh, if you really like to, you can also go into a trade down spike variation. One last variation that I'll mention is that you can also toss the whole thing up and catch Tama grip and move into lighthouse. You could also move to a falling in airplane and so forth. So there's many ways that you can explore this trick. So there you have it, you got the spike balance. It's a super fun trick and always a crowd pleaser when you're doing this in freestyle events. So I hope you have fun with this one, get creative, drop some comments, make sure you subscribe to the channel, check out all the other tutorials we have to offer, and we'll see you next time in the Sweet Studio.